If you're still looking for some last minute gifts for the kiddos in your life, how about gifting them a great book? We've got some recommendations for you from a children's book expert. Melissa LaSalle is the kids and teen book buyer for Old Town Books in Alexandria. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm of delighted course. to be here. Oh good. Well, Melissa, everyone, well, I love books <laughs> and obviously you love books. What a cool job. How did you get into this? Well, I was a huge reader growing up, but I never thought about it as a career. And then I took a year off between high school and college, and I applied to a huge amount of retail jobs, and the one I happened to land was in a children's bookstore. Oh, wow. And I discovered that even more than reading, I loved recommending books to people. So oh. that was the and beginning the for book me. mommy is now here today. The book mommy was born. <laughs> okay, so why do books make such great gifts? Well, nothing sparks a child's imagination like a great story, but books can also be a gateway for our children into the world. They can inspire conversation. They can teach important skills like empathy. A lot of the art in today's books is amazing, so you're giving a gift of art, and the books that we love, they become a part of us. Absolutely. They, they stay with us forever. Yeah, they can last a lifetime of, of that joy. All right, you've got some great books here. What do you recommend for a family that has multiple kids? So this is a terrific family gift. It's a poetry anthology. There's a book for every day, a book, a poem for mm. every day of the year. You can leave this on your kitchen table and oh. start each morning with a poem. The theme is humor. So all these poems are fun and silly and they run the gamut from Maya Angelou and Nikki Grimes to T.S. Eliot and uh, Michael Rosen, and you've got these exuberant, fun illustrations oh, wow. by Matt Hunt. Yeah, I see that. That really play Great up pictures. the humor. Great pictures. Great yeah. illustrations. Okay, yep. what about a book that will grab the attention of just a lot of different types of readers? So interactive books are great for that. They're great for kids who love reading, and they're great for kids who don't think they love reading ah. yet. And this is fun because kids get to chart their own high seas, high stakes adventure um, with the help of this compass. So they follow along on every page, they spin the compass to see what their next move should be. Very cool. And in addition to the story, you get all these fun asides about the history of pirates and how to survive things like shark attacks and hurricanes and mutiny, cannon fire. A lot of adventure. So a lot of adventure. Okay, so to how it's called this is called spin, spin to survive pirate peril by emily hawkins very cool very, very cool. fun okay what about this book this is an old-fashioned type book is that right yeah i fell in love with this this is kate albus's nothing else but miracles i read this to my daughter earlier this fall um, it's great for ages 8 to 12. it's a story about three siblings growing up in world war ii um, in new york city mm -hmm. and they are relying on their wits and the kindness of their lower east side community as they wait for their only parents to return from fighting in the war oh, wow. and trying to keep from falling into the hands of the authorities that mm. would put them in an orphanage. Okay. So you've got heartwarming and you've got suspense and great, great characters. The main characters, the middle child, Dory, she's a real spitfire. Okay, I'm, I'm reading an adult version, the orphan orphanage collector. Yes, yeah, yes. Or the orphan, yeah, yes, very good. Yes. Okay, now what about for teens? Okay, yeah, this is for 12 and up. This is a debut novel by Kate Pearsall, Bittersweet in the Hollow. This is a supernatural thriller set in small town Appalachia, mm. ripe with folklore and southern cooking, stars a young woman who has these witch-like abilities that she doesn't really understand and she keeps on the down low, and then a teen in their town is murdered, oh. and she has to delve into her past to help solve that crime. Okay, these all sound really great. You know what's so great about what you do giving these recommendations? I'm on all of these book Facebook pages because I love books, but they're always asking for recommendation, recommendations and that's exactly what you offer. So thank you so much for being here. Yes, really it's such a pleasure. It. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of these books and the other books from Melissa's gift guide for kids and teens are available in store at Old Town Books or online at oldtownbooks.com. And don't forget to follow Melissa's recommendations all year long on Instagram. You can follow her at the Book Mommy.